Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're up we're gonna be up against Cesari, Hero Destroyer, and Hero Challenger. And I'm gonna be with Shut Up 05, Rinx Sopra, and this map is actually the second battle. Um the part two or the second round of the YouTube streamers top players battle event. Alright, now if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe smash the like button and ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming out of my channel now for all those who missed it this is for you or if you would like to witness epic stuff this is for you all right so let's go jump straight into it now the first round the uh, map was random however the second round um, the loser or the losing team from the first battle will choose the second map and as we all know this map is Confed map. Okay, let us go All right, we start off with those uh stuff Okay, we collect the container container. Yeah, okay Two super container appearing right here right here Dun, 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 dun. For some reason, this rank 23 feels like rank 25 and above with the skill rank 20. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, here we go with that um, annoying shenanigans right going on in there. And that Cerberus is going right over there. Those Cyclones are truly annoying. However, we have Dragonflies around here to zone them out completely. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you're not gonna do much with Assault Cyclone Cerberus against two Wolverines, Dragonfly, and also an Armadillo and a bunch of Riflemen. And, ooh! And there you go. Two, uh, uh, obviously those Cerberus will not be winning as they actually arrived one at a time. And there you go. We're now gonna go ahead and, uh, get these Super Containers at the very start. Meanwhile, on my end right here, I'm just calmly building up my base and onto a salamander. Okay, super container. Perfect. Okay, and then of course, that super container. I'll let shut up. I'll get those super container as I don't really need it. I already have HQ level 3 and 6 supply centers or 7 supply centers. One server's managed to go over here. And apparently, Rinx was not able to get that super container right around there. And so I'm now gonna go ahead and head out here, and uh, I'll have Shut Up get these containers so that he'll have a faster base development. Okay, that Cerbera still managed to be a pest. Two vehicle factory, three special vehicle factory is gonna be the name of the game here with the mammoth, uh, jaguar, a little bit of granite deer, a uh, porcupine, salamander here. And as you guys can see, I got like my uh, uh, armadillo, porcupine, salamander, wolverine, and a little bit of jaguar porcupine more. Okay, we got like the cyclone right around there. And now we're going to head on and attacking this guy right here. However, what I did not realize is that the purple player already has a vertex at this point. And I clearly did not have enough porcupines to do anything against it. And uh, there you go, there you go, there you go. Okay, Cerberus from the CM player. Okay, I'm gonna have to retreat. Another Cerberus coming right over here. Okay, Salamander from uh, Shut Up right there. And oh, more Seraphima. Okay, they did not really, or I did not really able to launch that salamander uh, lethal burn however shut up managed to launch his however did not really destroy anything at this point and so I'm going to have to try in the system two seraphims are actually munching on that um, salamander three seraphims in a Cerberus munching on that salamander and now lethal burn boom okay skill Again, those hawks are raining rampage here as of course I do have the number of porcupines to zone out those early number of vertex. Okay now. 
Okay, those uh, Vertex tried to peel off those uh, Hawks that are trying to intercept the Seraphim, but managed to be zoned out by the number of Porcupines. Early aggression here, Rings also has his Salamander right around here, which is absolutely a bit too late here. And uh, yeah, we're not going to be doing so much about it since I, we don't really have enough here. Okay, and he told me to retreat, which I will be doing. Alright. Going HQ level 4 here on my end. Hammers. Okay, Scout from Shut Up. Okay. Going HQ level 4 here as uh, Tenderness. Cesare and the Monkey King. Alright. Nothing really much going on here. We're just going to develop our base. And uh, reproduce that salamander. Going for a level 3 prototype facility for that annoying Leviathan. Okay. Super container right around here. Was taken out by that hawk. Let's see. Okay, and so I'm gonna have to position my units around here. And yet again, I'll let Shut Up take that container. Okay, and uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I just took everything as he was even trying. Oh, solid hit with that Solara skill right there. Okay, solid hit. However, there's only one porcupine or two porcupines a chameleon and those hawks are here. Let's see how they do. Okay, that's actually a scattered shot. Wasp acid burn. Oh no! That scion hit the Leviathan r right as it was about to release the nuclear. So there's actually no nuclear as a scion can cancel another hero's skill if you hit the active ability at another hero while activating their skill which in this scenario the Leviathan okay Hawks here from shut up trying to support okay oh man the damage of those typhoons are insane oh there goes the Ooh! okay one vertex has been destroyed Ooh! oh good lord oh Ooh. man that got me nervous Okay, meanwhile here on my end, I'll simply spam units here non-stop, and then of course attack. Okay, there's like that one Cerberus who's trying to be annoying. Okay, still managed to jump. Kablooey. Okay, I'm going to position all my stuff right here in a diagonal formation. To intercept any form of aviation from tenderness. Okay now. Solaris trying to be annoying here. Firing at that power plant from below the cliff. Okay now. Shield will... Oh man. Those hawks dealt half damage to a shield. Okay. Serafima. Okay, I'm gonna have to try and help out this guy right around here. Scout. HQ level 5. Obviously going for a space system once again. Confeds. Very uh, lively gameplay. Okay. Oh, and there you go with that guy right here with a very good counterattack. As you guys can see right here. And so I'm gonna have to be forced to retreat as I need to defend this side of the map. Okay. Fast forward here and now I am actually in a very good formation. Some of my units are still here. I don't know why they did not follow my orders. Okay, I took out the shield and then all of a sudden those Zeus Typhoons are outside the range of the other shield which has been completely demolished. And a Solaris, a Seraphim is right around here. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, wrong angle. Should have been this one right here. There's a lot more units right there. Although he could not have seen due to the limitation of the visuals on that Solaris. 
We see a fight going on right here with Sharap and Links trying to go after the purple players to Solaris and so on. Bam! Solid hit right there, completely abolishing those HP from those Typhoons in a shield. We got like the Scion right around here as well. Okay, and so we're going to have to retreat now. Ooh, man, lethal burn. Let's see, will it destroy? Yes, it will destroy that Scion right there. And now there's like two Solaris right around here. Thors are now present from uh, Tenderness. And we're going to have to try and help out and take over this super container. There's another super container right around here, which I asked uh, uh, Shut Up to take. Another Thor. Oh my good lord, man. There's so many. Okay, let's see if my... Uh... Oh. Okay, it actually destroyed it. That's well nice. Very nice, Tracy. Okay, almost destroying that annoying um, Serafima. Those Vertex managed to score a good hit out of those Hawks. Okay. So I'm going HQ level 5 at this point. Lynx is now pressing the attack on the CN player's base or Monkey King. There you go. And uh, attacking from the bottom as uh, shot up there with a small army of stuff. Small chunk of army, JCP. Leviathan. And I'm going to have to intercept those heroes here. Cesari with a very good play right there. Outplaying me into thinking that he's marching right here. Where in fact he's as his main army right around here. That's actually very clever. There are so many things going on at the same time. And oh, a space strike right around here to where majority or some of my units are located let's see kablooey okay i tried to use the gold scouting boost to get out of range as fast as possible and here we go now lethal burn acid strike okay boom two of the shield has been destroyed by the salamander and so on and so this attack will be repelled. Going over here to Lynx. Ooh, Thor bombing run. There's not really enough Thor. However, the Thor came from Monkey King. And the Vertex are from Tenderness. Okay, we see here only the Leviathan is left. And it's trying to take out that Solaris, which it did. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, GG. That was a very impressive attack here by Rynx. Causing a huge chunk of damage out of those buildings and also units trying to demolish them. Meanwhile, Cesare, huge chunk of his army from that attack. And uh, he's actually lucky that the space strike hit some of my army right here. Okay, now. He's trying to bomb that um, X facility. Me again reminding shut up to take that container. Okay, those vertex are trying to be annoying. I'm, I'm trying to somewhat be annoying here as to get rid of those uh, Typhoons. Okay, Albatross again bombed that X facility, successfully destroying it in the process. And now hunting down those Albatross using those Vertex. Now, Rynx all of a sudden got map control right around here and is now going to have to try and attack with a Chameleon and a Salamander right here. Just trying to move up and down right here come on move man move move try go for the buildings go for the buildings bro go for the buildings ignore that ignore that go for the buildings go for the special vehicle factory come on oh no <laughs> that was very close and here we go that's Solaris or seraphim is here once again and uh oh nice bombing run out of those uh lines and i'm now gonna have to try and support them with my porcupines going back here to rings actually managed to destroy that chameleon with the active ability and all of a sudden all this has no anti-air protection let's see what's going on here we got like oh no there's only four no five hawks here with the addition of two that just popped out okay now I'm just trying to reproduce the army that I lost around here. And now, shut up. Going after this location. Okay. And so, I'm going to have to try and assist him. Because there's like two Solaris here. 
one from the purple from Tenderness and the Monkey King. However, one of the uh, Solaris is badly bruised up. That Solaris active skill though was lit. And here we go, Salamander. Now going to attack that badly bruised up Solaris. Okay, here we go. Okay, we got the confirmation in the voice over there. Another one bites the dust. Wow, that kind of remind me of the um, music or a song from Michael Jackson. <laughs> okay, here we go here. That Cerberus will now definitely fall. Shut up with the uh, sneaky attack here. Laying waste to all those um, special vehicle factory as you guys can see right here. Oh, not a very good hit. Not a very accurate bombing run. Again, two bombing runs. That was not very accurate. Okay, the uh, scan was dropped. Zeus right here. Rebuilding and oh! Now, as soon as they saw that, those albatross are now going to undock and launch an attack before the space rack even lands and taking out three buildings and uh yeah that's actually nice all right those albatross are now prepping up and are actually looking for revenge and here we go let's see how those albatross does now um salamander skill activated on the hq come on kabloy successfully managing to destroy it and then of course i'm gonna have to move out and attack that Scion is not microed because it can easily, man, convert a ton of units there on that narrow ridge. And here we go. We got like two, three vehicle factories right around here. And I'm now going to go ahead and attack um, Monkey King and attack Cesari right there. All my forces around here. Rings joining in the fray. Boom. Nuclear has been dropped. Boom acid strike and all of a sudden this is not too looking good for monkey king and there's like some units right around here from cesari who's actually out of position and are now trying their best to head straight into intercepting my army i changed or i ordered my mammoths to attack that vehicle factory and the leviathan to attack the vehicle factory affecting their production or command line there you go, and that HQ is gone here from Tenderness, as you guys can see. However, majority of the forces of Cesare is right around here, and that Leviathan will surely fall. So I got, like, my mammoths around here. Okay. Okay, two vehicle factories has been destroyed. This guy right here is being pushed back. Lack of anti-air is very, very evident as more typhoons and anti-air will be laid down and destroyed okay again <laughs> okay we're really going after that Ooh, <laughs> hq okay and so i'm also under attack here and i've actually made those barracks to set the start to of course spam the grenadiers in case this might happen as i'm already anticipating this and here we go that bombing run oh man that is so scary however that bombing run was not a very solid run but that solaris active skill is a solid one there you go those albatross trying desperately to bomb and they actually destroyed that headquarters acid strike here on my end going after those zeus which are going after my vehicle or my prototype facility Preventing me from building or producing any heroes. However, those Zeus that are not protected by the shield with the acid burn has quickly evaporated against the mammoths, uh, grenadier, jaguar, wasp, whatever shenanigans that I have defending my base. There you go. Nice one right there. This guy right here has just had a reset in tech. And those hawks now from rinks are also trying to do some damage picking up a zeus right there is actually very very good okay now and so i advise them to go nuke as well okay and that annoying seraphine will not really do much here as there are like two two leviathans and plenty of porcupines right around here 
Now, instead of going for the salamander, I'm now gonna go for a mole. Okay, we see here a good chunk of army, good chunk of army. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm planning on accompanying this army right here with this right here. Grenadiers is a cheap unit, although it can really deal a decent amount of damage on armor level 2 and 3 given the right amount of Grenadiers. Meanwhile, as I spread my forces around here, a separate detachment which will go with Shut Up, and I, on the other hand, will be defending this location with my Jaguars and Mammoths from the blue player. And here we go. Solaris right here. Kablooey. Oh man, I wish you could have just attacked it. It's just one shot. I mean, one shot could have taken both of those. Okay. So, again, non-stop unit production here. And that Seraphim actually was here and was destroyed. Some of the units of the blue player, Caesar, is actually intercepting the army that we have right around here. And so... I'm gonna have to launch an attack right here. However, there's like a beholder right around there, which can actually see from afar thanks to its passive ability or the scanner. Okay, majority of the forces are right around here. It's actually a bad idea to go with that meat grinder. Now with that in mind, those units actually went here and will have nothing to oppose this as Tenderness doesn't really have a ton of avia just yet with a limitation of and or towards building more and here you go I got like plenty of porcupines for that purpose and here you go in the midst of all that I'll leave all my mammoths around here and my jaguars going at this position and attacking the blue player and here we go two leviathans boo sorry my friend sorry my friend I got like plenty of porcupines right around here and those vertex will not really do much against this many porcupines and also a ton of leviathan or two leviathan and now my jaguars are here causing some huge chunk of attack right here and i'm going straight for the hq of the blue guy meanwhile rink's trying to follow up and gatekeep the monkey king inside his base preventing any assistance from this blue player as the army is right around here trying to obstruct me and destroy as many things as it can. Wow, nice. Good chunk of damage right there. And my Jaguars will take out the HQ. Um, Rinx will be repelled around here. And us, on the other hand, managed to successfully destroy uh, all forms of aviation from tenderness. And both our Leviathans are still alive. And uh, looking back here. I'm just trying to do as much damage as I can and this guy right here will also do the same thing and I got like more mammoths right here I got all my buildings right here Grenadiers trying to help out as best as possible and then of course they're going after or this is actually not micro just now they've been ordered to attack that prototype facility but it is actually too late nuclear from shut up let's see Yay! Yay! Boo! Huge chunk of damage. Erasing the tech and all the admin buildings right there. This attack has been repelled and that's GG. Alright, so if you guys like this video, again, smash the like button. Ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming out of my channel. I hope, Gear Games, that there will be more events similar to this one as the audience during the live stream really like this types of events and i'm looking forward to it as well thank you so much for watching have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles bye